Number two ranked Morro Bay hosting number three ranked Pioneer Valley in the Division 6 CIF semifinals tonight. The winner of this game heads to the state championship next Friday night. Pioneer Valley was off to a fast start. It's quarterback Richard Robles who fakes the handoff here and takes it himself into the end zone and it's 7-0 Panthers early in the first quarter. Now Morro Bay on the hunt off the return. It's Ethan Lisman who gets within the 10 to set up the Pirates into the next play for a score. Quarterback Nikki Johnson slings it into the corner of the end zone to Christian Merrill. It's a touchdown for Morro Bay and we're all tied up at 7-7. The Pirates get the ball back here. Johnson connects with Lisman again. He runs it in. Morro Bay takes the 14-7 lead with under 11 minutes to go in the second quarter. Now the P PV defense really stepped up tonight. It's Jacob Velasquez who sacks Nikki Johnson here. Now the Panthers on the hunt again in the second quarter. 50 seconds to go. Rudy Mendez gets the handoff. He runs it in for the score and it's 20-14. Panthers lead at the half. But Morro Bay would go on to advance the CIF state championship with a 29-26 win over Pioneer Valley tonight. The Pirates will play Taft next Friday night in the state championship. We caught up with Morro Bay captains and head coach Jake Goose and Brown following the big win tonight. The kids always give me a hard time because they, they say I'm never really happy um, or satisfied, <laughs> and it's true. Um, but tonight I, I was pretty dang happy with what these kids have done. And They're one of the better defenses in the area. But we also have the best quarterback in the area, so we are, our passing game was just too much for him. Once we got into our rhythm, pretty much unstoppable. And as, as Dylan said, we feel like we have some of the best skill positions in this whole area. And we feel like skill position-wise, we can compete with anyone we play against. We can see how happy it makes our entire community to have a football team that they can be proud of. We can like be proud when we say we go to Morro Bay High School and that we play for Morro Bay, where it's not used to be like that. So I'm, I'm just extremely proud of, of this team. Um, these kids, like I've demanded a lot out of them and they've risen to every occasion that I've um, asked them to do for us. And our coaching staff has done a great job. I I'm happy right now. I'm going to be much happier hopefully next Friday. We'll see if Coach is happier next Friday as number two Morro Bay pays number one Taft in the state championship next Friday night at 7 p.m.